You were there at the conception of Soulfly, right? Yeah. What was that time like? A lot of emotions was going. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of. Um, unfortunately, it was like a lot of uh, negative things was going on. So that's what kind of we try to put out on the album. All the the things that happened with us, especially with Max. You know, the his stepson was murdered. They split up with the band Sepultura, and a lot of our friends happened. Chico Science in the Sons of Leo, a really close friend of ours, died in a car crash. She was like, 97 was a dark year for everybody, so um, we were going through some lot of, you know, a lot of weird emotions, and we put that in an album, try to put in a positive way, you know, like show how we can come out of that. Isn't that very, very difficult to do? <sighs> We're doing it. Did you know Max before you joined Soulfly? I just, I vaguely knew him. I met him a couple times. Actually, I met him in LA about four years before Foundations mm. Convention. Mm. But uh, I, I didn't know him that well. No. No. How's he in real life? I, he's pretty much the way he presented himself to you, I'm sure. You know? yeah. he's easy going pretty guy. Pretty easy going, consistent. He's in, he's devoted to his family and, and to this to this band completely and you know, it's, it's been a um, smooth transition get you know joining into this tribe like you know I feel welcome feel good I did a remix I did a remix for uh, Sepultura at KSBC and we got to know each other through that you know he liked what I did on there and and then I got to meet him again on the last of the Sepultura tour in 96 and we talked more about, you know, doing stuff, you know, doing more remixes and you know, did some performances with them and stuff. And then after that, I guess he kept me in mind and called me, you know. Yeah. 